G'day! Wombat here, and welcome to the 2017 End of Year Awards! So today, we take a look back at 2017 and have a, a, a bit of an awards show for the stuff that we reviewed. Now we've reviewed some really good products this year. Um, we've been really blessed to have um, some really good stuff to take a look at. So, what was the best? That's the question that a lot of people ask, so let's have a look. So, the first section of this show is going to be about the Quick Review series. So, in the Quick Review series, we reviewed some great guitars, some amps, and some other products. So, what was good, right? So, the first thing we're going to do is the guitar category. So the guitar category was really, really difficult to do, mainly because we reviewed an awful lot of good guitars this year, and it was very, very close. So I'd like to start by giving an honorable mention, and the honorable mention goes to the Court G Custom. Fantastic guitar, well set up, beautifully built, gorgeous looking, and played like a dream. So that's our honorable mention for the quick review guitar section. Alright, so the, the honourable mentions out of the way, now we come to the best guitar in the quick review section. So, the best guitar for the... What, 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 what's that? Yeah, it's an envelope, I know it's an envelope. I know it's an award show, but we don't need an envelope because I'm the one that chose the, the winners. Alright, 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 alright. There's nothing even on it. All right. So, as I was saying, the award for best guitar in the quick review section goes to the Yamaha Pacifica PAC611 VFM. Now, once again, this was a phenomenally good guitar, really well built, sounded amazing with those Seaman Duncan pickups in it, and was just a simple joy to play. It was really, really difficult to choose a winner. There were so many good guitars in this category, um, but that one was just simply one I almost didn't return, to be totally honest, I almost bought. Brilliant guitar. So next we come to the best amp in the Quick Review series. Um, so we didn't do that many amps, but we did do some really good ones. So the winner for Quick Review, best Quick Review amp, is the Laney Cub 12R. It is a tube amp, but it is relatively cheap, and wow, this thing just rocked pretty hard. It was an excellent amp, uh, very retro in style, but fantastic, and a really unique way of uh, doing some power attenuation. So fantastic amp. So there you are, the Laney Cub 12R. So next we come to the product section. Now, product is something a little bit different. Um, it's not a guitar, it's not an amplifier, it's anything else, pedals, um, accessories that may, we may review through the year. Um, and we did do a few of those this year. Um, so let's take a look at the product category. Now, once again, this was wide and varied and a lot of good stuff. So it was difficult to pick a winner, so I'd like to give an honourable mention first. And the honourable mention goes to the Dunlop Crybaby Mini Wah. Fantastic pedal, which I bought, um, and it was amazing. Um, tiny little thing, but it just felt really natural and sounded great. So that is our honourable mention, the Crybaby Mini, but it was fantastic. So, honourable mention out of the way. Now for our winner in the product category. Now, as I said before, this was a really difficult one to judge, but I had to look at a few things. So the best product goes to the string stretcher. That's right. It is such a simple device that is, well, it's, let's be honest, it's not exactly a sexy thing for a guitar player, but um, the reason why it won is because it is cheap, it does the job, and man, when you change guitar strings, it saves you so much time. So much time. Fantastic product that I wish I'd found 20 years ago. Um, 
fabulous, just brilliant product. So there you go, that wraps, wraps up our quick review section. So now we come to the budget gear section. And once again, really difficult to choose a winner in this section because there was so much good stuff for not a lot of money. Um, phenomenal section, in fact, uh, the budget gear stuff was some of my favorite stuff to do through the year because it was amazing to see just how much uh, good stuff there is out there for not super huge amounts of cash. So, um, firstly, the guitars. Firstly, the, the amount of good guitars was phenomenal and it was really hard once again to pick a winner. But I got there in the end, so we'll start this one out with an honorable mention and the honorable mention for the budget gear stuff goes to the Court X1. Man, that guitar was so much fun. I had trouble putting it down, it was that good. Sounded great, played phenomenally well, and just a great all-round guitar. Fantastic, the Court X1. All right, now to the big winner in the guitars for the budget gear. And uh, once again, totally a difficult decision to make. Really hard, but we did get a winner. So, the winner for the... Why am I even... Unbelievable. All right, as I was saying, the winner for best budget gear guitar goes to the SX Ash Series STL. That's right, SX's Ash Series Telecaster was a phenomenal guitar. And once again, I really struggled to take it back to the shop because it just played so damn well and sounded amazing. But there you have it, the winner for budget series is the SX Ash STL. <laughs> to the amp section. The budget gear amp section wasn't particularly huge this year, but we did review a couple and they were really quite good. So, who gets the award in this one? Well, that one goes to the Blackstar ID Core Stereo 20. And it gets it because it is so much amp for so little money. If you're starting out or if you're looking to upgrade from a tiny little 10 watt amp to something better, these sound amazing, absolutely phenomenal. So that gets our award for the amp. And if you haven't got one, go and check it out. Really quite incredible amp. So now we come to the last category in the budget gear stuff, and that is product. Once again, product is something that's not an amp and not a guitar, all right? So the budget gear stuff is chockers. This, this entire thing is chockers with Really, really interesting accessories and gear and pedals. We didn't touch on as many as we would like to have this year, but it is well worth delving into that area because there's quite a lot of stuff. Some of it would be good, some of it could be bad. We're gonna have a look. But this year, 2017, the product, the best product for the Budget Gear series goes to the Behringer Vintage Tube Overdrive. And that's right, the little mean green box from Behringer. That was a phenomenal pedal. So there you are. That's our 2017 awards. I hope you enjoyed that. But while I've got you, I'd just like to thank a few people if I could. Firstly, thank you so much to Variety Music. They provided us with so many instruments and amplifiers this year. Um, it really helped uh, this channel out and also gave us some cool stuff to have a look at. So I hope you enjoyed that. While I'm at it, I'd also like to thank Kevin Kelly who provided some guitars for the um, Past Glory stuff that we were looking at. Um, he has quite a vast collection, so uh, he, he let me wander through that and pinch a couple to, to show you. Um, I'd also like to thank Nick, the editor guy, who edits all my videos for me. Without his help, I really couldn't give you the content that you guys are watching. I'd also like to thank my family who put up with me doing this. Um, I need to say right now that I don't get paid for doing this. This is just something I do because I enjoy it and I enjoy interacting with you guys in the comments down below. So um, they put up with me doing this at all kinds of times and, and weird things going on. Um, and I really would like to thank them for that. 
but mostly I would like to thank you, the people watching and the people subscribing to the channel. I really love talking to you guys down in the comments, answering questions or hearing what guitars you've bought. Um, it's something that I really, really enjoy and it's one of the parts of this that I enjoy doing the most. So um, thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, what, what, what's, what's, what? Another envelope? But we're finished. There's, there's no more. There's no more. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. This is, this is Nick the Editor Guy's award. What's this for? For your, your favorite, your favorite guitar. Okay, all right. So Nick the Editor, who absolutely knows absolutely nothing about guitars, I might add, um, has chosen his favorite and wants to give it an award. The blue one, really? We've done more than a few blue ones. Which blue one? Just, just, just the blue one. Just the blue one. So there you are. Nick, the editor guy's favorite guitar is the blue one. I don't, I don't get how you can not choose just a blue one. It's, it's, I don't.